Everyone shut up, we're recording. Uh, and so. go a little more my way, then you'll be good. That's good, perfect. All right, what's up, SlackerCast? SlackerCast Network. Are y'all not gonna say anything? What's up, everybody? Actually, here's what I got to say. I'm saying this not only to everyone else, but to you too, Lawrence. Until further notice, the list are fucking dead. I tell them why? Because they got stale. Nobody cares about them anymore. I don't even really have fun doing them anymore. Do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, I was going to say, I hated the list the whole time. <laughs> I was just pretending to like them for Greg's sake. Because you were fired up doing them. You, I got my list ready. Run, bless. I knew you didn't care about them when you half-assed at every list. Why do you hate list? It's not that I hate them. No one else cared. <laughs> but you were like so adamant about those fucking lists. People do care. You're just not on par as anything like the guys like Falcon from Game Ranks or anything. They've got thousands of followers. The list would have been fine if we would have had more... I have yet to see you in our chat, by the way. Yeah, me Yeah, me too. I even showed you how to load up the chat now. You know what? Fine. Before we go home tonight, I'll give you my fucking phone and let you try it, huh? Did you download the YouTube app like I told you you have to to do it? I fucking hate the app, though. That's the only way you can do it. God, I fucking hate the app. Now I've got to choose between the app and killing you. I'm not, perfect, I'm not particularly fond of the app myself, but... I'm not gonna not have it on my phone when I need it to. Yeah, By the way, I got PTO calls. my job for nine days, and I'm um, pretty much gonna spend a lot of it with Anthony. Huh? This Thursday. What about it? I'm, probably, I'm gonna go visit Anthony. Where? In Louisiana. How long are you gonna be there? Three days. Uh, well, well, enjoy just, yourself, man. Louisiana is a shithole, so. <laughs> God be with you. You're not ditching us on Dash and Days for him, so I don't think anybody cares. It was Thursday, so you yeah, guys not interfering with Dash Days. Your birthday's coming up, huh, Shadow? Maybe. Hey, Lawrence. That's right, you never told us your birthday for some fucking reason. <laughs> I understood that. Oh, no, I told Greg like five times. Yeah, but I don't remember people's birthdays, so it doesn't exactly. matter. Except my daughters and my wife's, and those are the only two that I'm required to. It's almost like I'm just blanking out things that I don't want you guys to remember. But Lawrence. Honestly, we don't care. <laughs> what are you, a CIA agent? You realize I'm supposed to close on this house on the 9th. It's past the 9th, dude. The 9th of October. Oh. It's not that far away. That's like less than a month, dude. And I'll be gone. Don't say that yet, because you gotta make sure you're getting that dryer in your house. I told my mom to back off. Jesus of it. Christ! Will you stop with the dryer? I'm on your side. That's the part. That, yeah, like, but you keep bringing it up. I told you, I, I'm past that, man. I don't care anymore. I just like I'm messing with my bros, man. See that? If you get in the house and the dryer's not in there, you're both gonna be pissed. I won't be. I I, I already expected to not be there. That's the reason your mom's not bringing it up anymore. is because she's already got that bitch at someone else's house. <laughs> That's what's funny about your mom, though. is like she'll get all this stuff, but then she'll store it at someone else's house. Filipinos, like, man. Like that refrigerator? Filipinos. So the question, Lawrence, is are you ready to help me move and be ready to come over and help me set up? Depends on if I have work that day. I'm just kidding. I was going to say, you get off at like a good time. My wife, I'll tell you what, man, my wife is a workhorse. She's got almost every fucking thing packed up. And what did you do, Jack shit? Uh, I'm the one making the money, so. So who doesn't care about that? <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. She didn't want me packing up the fucking plates and shit. You know what I would have done? I would have thrown everything in one box. Packing is a woman's job, moving is a man's. It 
it's so sexist and outdated thinking. Not when you're wearing Speaking of outdated thinking, it's like, what do you think of the Ric Flair allegations? And it's kind of fun. I, I, no, I'm not talking about that on this dash. I, I want to save that for the Slacker cast. Oh, fuck, no, we're not talking about that on the Slacker cast, because your, your shit's going to get us fucking canceled, too. Okay, here, here we go. Look what happened to Tommy Dreamer, just for then, then why does it matter? I post this on YouTube, too, Lawrence. Actually, if you don't want it on camera, then the moment we stop and get drinks up here at Walmart, I want to figure out, I want to hear what's going on. Yeah, we're going to talk about it once we pause it. And my, my thoughts on it is not anything, it's not like I said, yeah, he was right in doing that. Go Ric I Flair. Did, just, just save it, man. No, you've already brought it up now. We're going to talk about it. I think we're just going. <laughs> Woo! We go. We've already talked about this in the group chat anyways. Like I said, was he wrong for doing what he Fuck. did? Yes. Absolutely. 100%. Yes. However, it happened 20 fucking years ago. Let me put it this way. All I did was walk into the same room as a person and I was almost arrested. He actually put his dick on somebody. I never did nothing like that. Do you you want to know you want to know the whole thing? And though? he gets to get away with it because did that's the thing. He's not getting away with anything because the girl, the woman straight up said, I never felt like he was going to rape me. Boom. That means she did not consider it a threat. But you just can't put she your dick on She did not feel Yeah. He should definitely, uh, he should definitely have to fucking give her a little bit of money for that. She should be able to sue him for that. It's indecent exposure, ain't it? Yeah. I mean, it's not like he should go, he should go scot-free for it. But it, it's not like his life should be fucking ruined and he should never be fucking seen oh, on TV, but, but Hogan, tarnish his but, legacy. But look at this. Look what happened to Hogan just for saying a word. Hogan's fine, dude. That shit's blown over. It has? He's been back on WWE since. But I thought... Well, you thought wrong. Bitch. This is what I get for... Then why is Hogan banned from AEW? Uh, he, Explain that one, hot shot. It, it's a different reason. It's because of the sec. The uh, it's not. It's not because of the drop in the end bomb thing. It's something else. I forget what it was, but it's it's something unrelated. It's it's some sexual assault thing. What? <laughs> okay. What is God, it with wrestlers and sexual assault? Yeah, everyone's going. Even Shawn Michaels is next in the firing squad. They're saying he raped somebody. You can't be a man today and not be accused of sexual assault. I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying men don't do it. Men are fucking total creeps, and men sexually assault women all the fucking time. But the thing is, is it has to be there. I'm talking about the real sexual assault cases, the women who are real victims, not the ones who just looking for a fucking payday and make something up, or just trying to ruin somebody's life because something happened they didn't like. He called me a bitch and a whore, and my life is ruined now. Oh, I want to sue. You know what would make me happier, though, and forget about it? $50,000. There are a lot of bitches. And some of those, some of those. Ruin somebody's life because they're mad at them. And it's like, it's weird how you never heard about the, the divas back then complaining about shit. You know, they got beat up all the I'll time. I'll tell you this, dude. I'm glad I'm already married and have the woman I want to be with because I would fucking hate. Go get your drinks. Pause this. We'll finish this. I turn my thought. Ready? No, I already got the monster. Yeah, uh, I already got my coke right here. But uh, I would hate to be someone in y'all's shoes and ha like having to be in the dating field right now because you can't even approach a woman today, man. Now you understand. You can't even fucking approach him. You like so great. You got to be careful of everything you say. You go up and compliment her, and she takes it the wrong way. You could be brought up on charges. Hey, now you understand the Allison Briggs thing. Now you understand why. I never didn't. I never. There was never a point when I didn't understand it. Now you understand why uh, I still got my view. Why do you keep saying now yeah. I understand? I I never didn't understand. It's, you act like I was siding with her at one point. Did you ask me time? You're like, you're not a bad looking guy. Why are you still? Because of this shit. I grew up in the wrong fucking time, man. You really did. I'm tired of motherfuckers asking me that. It's like, look around, dude. I used to make a joke all the time. I would joke with people and I'd ask. I'd be like, how far away from, How far away are we from uh, it just being illegal to be a man? <laughs> and what do they say? Uh, what would they say? Oh, God, come on. That's, they're reaching. <laughs> You're reaching. It'll never be like that. But no, man, I'm, I'm really excited about this house, dude. 
You and me both. You're gonna have a friend who's a homeowner. Who's a homo? That too. Here's my question. How come no one invites you on their streams? It's a very good question. <laughs> but you know what? What? I honestly don't fucking care. You or Dustin never get invited, especially Dustin never gets invited to other streams, and I don't know why. I think it's because, I mostly think with me it's because of my work schedule. But They don't know about that. But if it's not because of my work schedule, I don't care, dude. If you want me on your stream, I'll come on your stream. If you don't want me on your stream, then I won't come on your fucking stream. What I'm not going to be, though, is not myself. So on that, that, that little stream you were on with everyone, like, how was it? Did you did you feel like you were able to talk? Which one? Christian, with all, all the other guys. Yeah, yeah, it was Christian. cool. I interacted with everybody. It was fine. I want to see more of that. It's like you're so you're so hard to get to, man. I'm not hard to get to. I'm easy to get to. All you got to do is reach out with me. I've stated it a thousand times. If anybody no, wants... No, it was your time, your work schedule. Yeah, but I mean, like, if anybody wants to be on our podcast ever, all you got to do is shoot me a message and say, like, hey, guys, I want to be on y'all's show this week. Boom, you're on. By the way, I seen that episode where you yelled at me. It was me. I told you, dude. It wasn't anything like I remembered it. Exactly. That's why I didn't want it on there. It's too late now. It's yeah, all right. It is too late. But you you requested it. That's by the request of Lawrence, because I was gonna delete that. No, uh, it's it's good, man, because it's just Let wrong. me ask you this. Did did we get the recording to where I apologize for blowing up? No. Fuck, of course not. <laughs> of course not. The world's gotta see you as an aggro fucking See that's 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 the bad part about that. Is like the the apology portion of it didn't come. It wasn't recorded. I got a feeling this is gonna be a slow dash day. Oh, I just got that feeling in the air. Oh, never mind. It's already a grab oh, see. <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about when the world fucks with me. It's like the universe is like, oh really? Well, here. You can never be right, Cummings. Here's your fucking order. Alright, looks like we're going to Chick-fil-A. Nah. We never make it out of that parking lot in 20 minutes. You do realize that they open their lobby now, so I just go in and get the food. You could think that, but with the, how packed the parking lot is, you sure the damn lobby is not going to be the same? I'm positive we've been there a thousand times since. Mr. Haven't been on the dashes as much, so doesn't know the situations. Tell him, Lawrence. It's true, dude. You have no excuse. Get him, Lawrence! <laughs> I have no excuse for what? I will kick you out the passenger door. Shut up. Before you do that, can you explain to us what the fuck happened last week? It's this thing called work. No, nah, because we tried to reach you. Oh, that. You tell about, about the day when I didn't ride on the phone yet. No, I was just having some shit phone service that day. Get at and I told you that. Fuck at and Oh. Let me guess you got straight talk, huh? Yeah, I love straight talk. Shit services. Unlimited man. talk, unlimited texting, 25 See, gigs of data. Th this is this is how I know you're one of those people who don't know shit, Lawrence. Why? And straight talk, dude, I've been across the US. All straight, straight talk, talk does is buys time off of AT&T. Hey, I was kidding. I know. I used to sell the shit in electronics. You don't remember? know shit. How many times I had to give the line to the customers at Walmart? You know what? This episode sucks and so do you. Dude, I it went to really Missouri does. and my fucking phone worked for straight talk all the way Could've up there. Could have let me go, F-150. Mississippi, dude. They don't care about us. I sure don't, because you know what? Is it me, or is there an overabundance of white jacked-up trucks in Mississippi? So I'm probably going to end up paying... Arkansas, too. I'm probably going to end up paying for my daughter to go to school away from that school on Dito Road I'm right next to. Why? Because everyone told me that that school is horrible. Do not send your kid there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be like the typical... You're talking about bad, like the typical movie bad school... No, I'm, t I'm talking about I'm not I'm talking about bad like the teachers don't care about the students' education kind of bad. Isn't that a lot of schools though? Yeah, it's like every public school, dude. No, public I, system is broken. The teachers are just, at this point the teachers are there to do their job. 
whether you actually it's it's usually training. inner city schools like that this is the thing man i can understand when teachers get like that on a high school level but if you are if you don't care about teaching kids and you're teaching kindergarten pre-k yeah then you got a fucking serious problem and you need to be finding another field Cause that's that's just sad. My kid might end up going to school in the in the, in the country. I was born in the wrong time, dude. You're absolutely right. About you are, dude. I'm telling you, dude. I, I I'm tell I'm serious about that. I so feel bad for dudes who have to date right these days. Not really. We always got porn, right? And then VR porn. Dude, the reason I went online and found a chick in another country was because of how women are here in the U.S. now. Most of the time, I have no problem finding somebody. Fun. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the good ones aren't out there because they absolutely are. But the problem is like what all of the bad ones make it hard for the guys to find the good ones because they don't want to take the chance. And look, perfect song. Yeah. The, why is this on while we're recording? <laughs> I said, the, said something. I said the perfect that. song is on. You turn it off. <laughs> well, music doesn't need to be playing while we're. I shouldn't have said anything. Nobody wants to fucking <laughs> hear hear us <laughs> bitching, whining, and complaining with a fucking tune in the background. <laughs> <laughs> a tune that actually goes with whining. Yeah, it actually went with it. I mean, if y'all want to listen to love songs in the car with three dudes. That's on y'all. We hummed Zelda together, Corey the Corey the Corey, remember? Yeah, he hated it too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? More to come, Corey. More to come. He didn't say he hated it. He hated it. There's something. He hates Legend of Zelda, dude. Trust me, he hates what? it. What? <laughs> he goes, what? He hates all RPGs. Where did he live again? Indiana. Okay. He watched me play so many RPGs. That he now hates them with every fiber of his being. So wait, this is your fault. You burned him out. No. How can you get burned out on RPGs? It's not even possible. Well, apparently it is. He literally watched so many that you burned him out. No, because he fell asleep, so he really wasn't watching anything. You know what I'm sick of, Lawrence? What? Now hiring signs being up everywhere. Yeah, it used to be hard to find a job, remember? Now it's easy. Well, something's wrong with this country right now is the problem. Look who's in office. It's not about who's in office. That That's that's on the, the smaller scale. What, what are these fucking people doing? It's overall about the state of the country and the fact what? that we're being held hostage by our own government. It, I mean, it's y'all aren't seeing where I'm coming from on this because you won't let me say it. But it's a it's because nobody wants to pay anything anymore, dude. You can go out and do jobs like this: DoorDash, Waiter, Grubhub, Lyft, fucking anything, any one of these little gig jobs, and make double or triple what you're gonna make at your typical nine to five now. Because they don't want to. You're pay. working at your Best Buy, McDonald's, Burger because King. Because they don't want to pay anybody. Exactly, that's the problem. Well, that exactly. They want to. They want to underpay everybody. That exact topic was brought up on uh, Facebook, and they were talking about uh, Huffington Post, and they were talking about the Huffington Post doing shit like that, saying that, uh, well, you know, we love your story, we love you, we love you talking about the problems in America, and he, they, and the writer was talking about exactly what you just said, and they said we would love you to have a ride of peace for us, but we can't pay you. Yep. And the writer said, you know what, I'm gonna give you this. You are the problem that I was writing about. That's it. Bye. It's it's mind blowing. Well, the thing is, you know, how does a multi billion dollar corporation say they can't pay somebody for a story they very much because they honestly they don't need anybody no more, man. They but got, you know, if you if you very much desire somebody to write or you know do any kind of commission of any form for you that badly, but you can't pay, I mean, come on, you must not really want. It's, not to like, can't, it's like you just said it. Yeah, they they don't really need it. They made so much money over the years that they're swimming in it. The they thing don't is, need you know, it. if you're a millionaire, you shouldn't just expect things for free. Come on. Sacco. It's like somebody was telling me, um, what? 
Oh, shit. Yeah, pause it. I don't know, give it ten years and we won't recognize any of our characters. I don't know why you started that shit up. Again, he told me to. We're going to Firehouse Subs now. Greg, he told me to. Pencil dick. Oh, don't try and throw me under the fucking bus. I didn't tell you shit about the phone. Then what did you tell me? Go, motherfuckers! Are y'all just driving through? <laughs> what are you mad about now, dude? Cause, man, these fucking people aren't letting me back out. Just drive over the fucking grass. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That'll fuck my tires up. Grass? You had a Ford F-150 jacked You do up. see that there's a fucking curb. Yes, I know, dude. I know. But, you and I, but you're right. If I did have a jacked up... You and I both know there's actually been two occasions that we were all in this car that you drove over the edge of a curb anyway. Shadow, are we in a grand that everyone who has a jacked up truck is a douchebag? And possibly a redneck, yes. And a racist? <laughs> probably. <laughs> Lawrence had to add in the racist. Actually, probably. I mean, think about it. Logically, nine out of ten times, those people with jacked up trucks have racial tendencies. It's not their fault. It's just the state they're from and how they're raised. You're a racial tendency. It has nothing to do with the state they're from, dude. Even in Colorado, there's some fucked up racist people. Colorado's a racist state. <laughs> no, it's not, dude. I live there. There's just people there that are. Every state has it. Colorado, didn't they own slaves? Colorado was I'm pretty sure as part of the North, you know, Colorado was racist. No, Colorado was like the West, dude, and they didn't let black people out. Like, they had the no shadow time or some shit. Uh, the they're, West. Like, they're like, the rest of the country may say you're free, but we don't. Yeah. The West. Don't believe that John Wayne shit, man. A lot of the West was fucking... John Wayne shit. That's how everyone knows about cowboy lore, but look up the real history of the lore. There were black cowboys. Sure was. Blazing Saddles proved that. <laughs> Not Blazing Saddles. That just sounds gay. It's one, what? He said Blazing Gaddle. Uh, you never seen that movie? Pause. Is yeah, that who he's based off of, Doc? Yeah. He's just like a... They're literally based off of the characters. You know what I don't understand about you, Lawrence? What? You, you all, all, all the time you're saying to me, I want the podcast to go back to what it used to be. I want the podcast to go back to what it used to be. But then, but then you're like, oh no, we can't say that or we'll get canceled. When have I ever said that? Literally five minutes ago, whenever we were. Yeah, dude, because we can't. Look what happened to Tommy Dreamer, dude. Do you not fucking trust me? Is that the problem here? Trust you to do what? <laughs> you know I'm not going to say anything that's going to get us canceled. You already said in like one of the Tasha McGregor said that if there were no laws, then... that was different. <laughs> and I, and right afterwards, I said I was kidding. You just can't kid about stuff like that no more, man. Yes, you can. I'll kid about whatever I want. Because I'm like Shelton Benjamin. Ain't nobody stopping me. Yeah. I was there, brought my headphones. It was just some music. Listen to music while we're recording? One ear, not both my headphones. That's still stupid. It takes you out of everything. Because I want to listen to uh, my way, my way, or the I don't understand. I don't understand what's wrong with you kids. You always have to be listening to fucking music. No, that was you kids too. Bullshit. Back in the 90s? How often do you how safely. often do you drive to work right. to just silence like right nothing on your radio? Road. Fuck no, that's boring, See? dude. So don't say you're like me then. You're nothing like me. Your generation right. is the one who invented that. Yes, Greg, we're not psychopaths. You you do know that like sometimes it's good to just like be with your own thoughts. No. Yes. Your it thoughts is, might be crazy. Is, yeah, but I mean Greg your thoughts might be crazy. What exactly is wrong with music? Nothing's wrong with it, but if you are in a state in your life to where you have to have music playing in your ear, fucking, no matter what it is that you're Someone doing at all the, times, that's kind of sad. You're you a slave to will it. Will you let point. me speak? I wouldn't finish talking. Oh. <laughs> so, some brought up a good point. They're like, as much as we make fun of that Limp Biscuit song, Break Stuff, it's probably saved a lot of people from being murderers. 
True. Not unless the stuff that they broke was another human. <laughs> so, he, but it helps you to vent, dude. All those M and M CDs from back in the day. Here's the thing. Yeah, it helps you. It helps. It helps some people to vent. But you know what it helps? You know what it helps psychopaths do? No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No. I want to kill that motherfucker. Yes, this is the same argument against video games. How uh, video games create psychopaths and how we need to ban them and stuff. No, video games don't create psychopaths. They just enable. No, they don't. That's a fucking myth. They would already be psychopaths without the games. They would already be psychopaths without the movies and, and the. Okay, so what are you saying here? That that kid people are born psychopaths. They're if they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it with it regardless. It's like putting someone in prison. They're still gonna find a way to kill people because that's what they are, dude. Some people just are. That's what you don't understand. You so say, in other words, someone's environment, think the things that surround them. You're saying that there's nothing to be said that it creates the type of person that it just you know. People are just that way. Exactly, dude. That's look, bullshit. Look at Ted Bundy. Oh, I think this actually goes both ways. I mean, nature versus nurture. Look at Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay, you want to bring up Bundy? I'm glad you did because you know what? Sent Bundy down that road? Porn. He even admitted no, it. No, he was fucking lying and telling that dude what he wanted to hear. That's not what started it. What started it with him was he enjoyed fucking stealing. And that started... Even, even still. And here's the thing. He enjoyed it. He, he, he got off on it. It's like, he, nothing created that joy for him. It was already going to be there. Okay, you say you say the porn aspect of Bundy was made up. It was. Was him fucking the corpses made up too? Because apparently he likes sick shit. He got off. He didn't just the, he didn't just decide one day, you know what? Hey, I'm going to steal he, the Snickers this day. But and then did. fucking 30 days from now, I'm going to fuck a dead person. He pretty much did. There, no, you don't spiral like that, Because dude. he said to himself, you guys keep trying to find reasons for what the fuck I did. There's none. You're not going to find them because guess what? I can't even explain what the Maybe fuck. Maybe he's just evil then. But the that's, is, what he's, that's the whole thing is he was just evil. The thing is it can go both ways. I mean, there's a lot to be said about nature versus nurture, but some people are just born ill and then aren't really, you know, ready to try to work with that. I don't agree. Well, I don't, I, I've never liked the nature versus nurture thing because I don't believe it. Because Bundy was nurtured. <laughs> In 900 feet, and turn right on all time. So, I mean, which, which, which like is I, it? Like I literally just said, some people are also just born sick. I think I think with Bundy, it was and a chain of events. Well, what I was saying before is that some people are obviously just born sick, and no amount of nurture can actually help. It's in the nature. Do you that think with Bundy, what happened was like his parents were crazy. Right like, first off, like, 49. he could do no wrong in their eyes. So no matter what he ever did, he probably never got disciplined. So he had no boundaries. And people who don't have boundaries are going See, to... you can't go that route because there are people who were very well disciplined that I'm pretty sure turned out to be psychopaths. Yeah, military brats. Okay, but that doesn't still change the fact that that could be a reason why Bundy ended up the way he was. It doesn't completely debunk my theory. But the lack of discipline, I mean, that's that's to say that it's because of lack of discipline and there's so many people yeah, but that. some people need it and some people don't. Which is what I'm saying. Some people are naturally born sick and no amount of nurturing will change. See, them. I don't believe that. I, when you see a baby playing with things and doing the same things that every other baby does, if you're expecting me to believe that there's psychotic thoughts running through that baby's mind at that early age, so no child, bullshit. No child is born mentally augmented through autism? That's it's a, a different point. story. It's actually not. It's all. It's all part of mental. It's all part of mental issues. Some people are just born sick. No, autism is actually something wrong with the brain. Being a psychopath is not. But for people like you were talking about Dahmer, I mean, it kind of sounds like it's in the head. It's in the head, but it's different, man. If you, if you, for someone who knows someone who's autistic, you should know that it's one hundred percent totally different. Because how can we say somebody like him wasn't born that way? That because with autism, your brain is not fully developed. With a psychopath, it is. You can't say that he wasn't born the way he was, or that he wasn't always like. I that. can say it. I'm saying it right now. He was not born that way. He was, dude. No, so he wasn't. He was fucking always evil. Then you're not a true Christian. Because here's the thing. Because God doesn't create evil people. He literally so, says in the Bible, there are every children who are not even ten years old who are literally. He literally evil says, and "For all have parents. sinned and come short of the glory of God." You're born into sin, bro. You're born into sin, but you're not born a psychopath. You're born into sin because of how you're born. Nobody said directly. Do you not understand the scripture? Sick. 
born sick to the point that no amount of nurturing changes that sometimes. You're born in the sin because you have to be, you have to fuck to make a child. And guess what? Humans. It literally they says that be, yeah, it literally says be fruitful and multiply. God told Adam and Eve to do that. After they sinned. No, that was before they sinned. Dude. No, it wasn't. That was literally before they sinned. No, there, there was nothing in the Garden of Eden until Eve bit the apple. They didn't even know they had genitalia, dude. They were blind. They couldn't see each other. They do to have sex because he said be fruitful and multiply. He said that after Eve bit the apple. Hold on. Let me look, I mean, it they up. look it up, please. They weren't entirely blind to each other because he literally took a rib to make him a companion. They were still blind to each other. They couldn't see each other. There was no vision. If there was no vision, then how did Adam look upon the animals and name them? That was once again. That was after. God blessed them and said to them, "Be fruitful and increase in number. The Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky." Why would He bless them they after they that, after they sinned, right? After they, they, they bit God. the apple, they were cursed after that. Just read read the whole scripture. Start from they page one. It's right God. there. But <laughs> naming naming the animals was before by yeah exactly. Turn right on Carolyn Street. And he had to see the animals then doing that because right. it said he looked upon them as he was naming. Turn left. It's seven. Read the scripture. It happened. Turn I just did, dude. Read it again. Then turn left. No, I'm not reading it again, turn dude. Left. That's craziness. In 900 feet. Turn no, what? Well, read it again so I can make a point. I'm driving. I can't read it myself. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Roll over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Now, how do you know that increase in number meant fuck? There's no other way to reproduce, dude. There's you no are way fucking to me up on this delivery. I just gotta tell you that right now. Well, I mean, Lord has a point. There's no other way for us to multiply. We can't just shake hands. That you know of. <laughs> Greg, you're reaching, dude. No. Maybe I am. Come on, dude. You're just are you arguing to argue. Are you saying that his entire, his entire idea about that was to wait until we were so technologically advanced somehow, which we couldn't have done if we weren't multiplying already? I see what you're saying. So either the Bible's wrong or, or we're right. I, well, until I make this delivery, I'm not it talking about this any further. Because right. I completely got turned around and now I have to fucking turn around to make this delivery. <laughs> and I'm on two deliveries, first off. You might be right. I could be wrong. And they're, they're probably that's not, that's great. But I'm, I'll tell you this. I'm not going to have it explained to me by either one of you. It'd have to be explained to me by a pastor. By, by any Jew? Is that Why, it's too demeaning to hear it from someone like us? Well, considering that you don't even believe in God, and Lawrence is not well-versed on the Bible, yes. But you are. You're the no, I'm not. I, I will be the first to tell you that fucking my knowledge of the Bible is poor. Because I, if I were to ask one somebody at your job, is Greg a Christian, what would they tell me? They would say yes, because I've never once denied that I'm not. But does your actions say, uh, suggest that you're a perfect Christian? There's no such thing, first right off. John Clark Road. So you got to throw that out the window. There's no such thing as a perfect Christian. If, you, if you're going to go around and ask everyone in my work, hey, does Greg sin? I didn't say that. I said, That's it. is Greg a Christian? How is it that every time we get started talking on anything? I, I would love you to. Because you know what they tell you? Yes. I've only ever heard him talk Did about. I say Greg doesn't talk like one. I've heard him talk about uh, watching porn and enjoying it and indulging in the sins. I've heard him right. watching movies he ain't supposed to watch. You know you're not supposed to watch Harry Potter, right? Uh, well, actually, that's not true, Lawrence. Well, in my household, we weren't allowed to watch because it glorifies witchcraft. See, that's what you call making an allegory out of something. It's the exactly. same shit that they tried to do with the fucking lion. It's a source of entertainment. Martin. When you're watching Harry Potter, are you right worshiping it? Or is it just but, a source of entertainment? We were banned. Because uh, another thing is my stepdad told me, he was like, but would God want you listening to it? No, but hold on. Going back to what you're saying, yes. If you went to my work right now and asked anyone who talks to me on a regular basis, is Greg miles. a Christian? They would absolutely right say yes. But what if you went there and I was the one standing there? What do you mean? I talk See, to you, here's I talk the to thing. you on a regular basis. Here's the, here's the little thing. Well, you if, if you were to say, no, Greg's not, then... <laughs> then you obviously don't know anything about but Here's me. the thing. They don't, I'm not talking about people that know you and heard your side of the story, but people that just watch your actions and see you day by day. And then they're probably going to say, no, I didn't, you never, I never know anything about this man being a Christian. What His point does that make? If they don't know anything about me, how would they know, Lawrence? Because that's, you should be displaying that 
to the whole world, strangers and everything should just see that come off you. Well, first off, you don't know how I display myself at work. If you think I talk about porn at work, you're sadly mistaken. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Well, how is it every time we get started on something slightly serious, we throw Greg off on a delivery, and we always get on one of the two subjects that we said we'd stay away from? Porn. No. No. Religion. How do you think I act at work? I don't know. You think I have these type of conversations at work? Hell no, dude. I stay clear of them. Somebody tries to talk like this to me in a break room, I'll straight up, I'll cut them off and tell them I'm not talking about this in the break room. There's people that do that? All the time. It's because the break room is supposed to be your place to just chill. But the, cack, but the cackling hands. It's not even about, about that. To. I'm not having someone sitting at the table over here hear me state some of my beliefs and then it offend them and they go to management and tell them that I offended them. How many them times have they sat there and, and gotten mad and said, said race shit that offended you? It doesn't matter. They're not me, Lawrence. They're not an average white man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that funny? An average. It's white. funny because it's true. An average white man has to watch everything he fucking says. What makes that funny? But a gay white man doesn't. Not really. <laughs> why do we automatically get quiet? <laughs> <laughs> so this is why we don't get into politics or religion and always or goes race. South. No, actually, I just did the right thing. Lawrence tried to challenge my faith, and I faced that challenge. But admittedly, this is the reason we all agreed to stay away from these right. two subjects. It always goes south. Somebody always gets bumped. He's right. And guess who brought? Who guess who didn't bring it up? Who? Greg. Guess who did? You want a fucking trophy? Lawrence, because he can't play by the fucking rules. I mean, are we giving him out? No. Yeah, uh, actually, we are because in today's age, everyone gets a trophy. Sweet. I'll melt it down and make something useful. I want a belt instead, Greg. I don't want a trophy. Well, I'm going to tell you this, Shadow. If you're going to melt it down, don't do it in that sink of yours where a possum just took a <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Lawrence doesn't know the story. Lawrence, I heard oh. something clinking around in the kitchen last night, and I thought maybe Alpha had gotten a hold of the dish or the pizza box and tried to clean it out or something. Went in the kitchen, and you know most possums, they got that sleek but also chubby street look to them? Yeah. This did not look like that kind of possum. I mean, its hair is all fucked up. It was thin as hell. It looked like... The crackhead of possums, like the crackhead that's about to, that's about to mug you for their next fix. Yeah. Like, really scrawny, disheveled, the look on the face looked like if a, if a possum could be a crackhead, looked like he was about to mug me to get his next fix. Mm -hmm. And just stared at me, and I shoot him out, I shoot him out of the house, I opened the door, ran him out before Alpha could get him. Right me and Bob both figured that, you know, then after we searched the whole house, that he must have got in through the open window that night. That thing went back, space out. But, uh, it actually looks better. Goddamn sun. I went in there. I went in there after sleeping in the morning to wash my hands and splash cold water on my face and wash up a couple of dishes and everything. Yeah. And there was a fucking turd in my sink that I'm wondering <laughs> did I scare the shit out of this possum when it saw me come in the kitchen? You did. Or did it vengefully, sentiently come you back in there and shit in my bride. sink as a revenge crackhead thing? Because that's literally something crackheads do. They'll. I've never heard of anybody but a crackhead shitting in the sink. No. So did I scare the shit out of this possum, or did it somehow was it somehow sentient enough to come back and take a revenge dump in my sink? You, you fucking scared it, dude. Dogs do the same thing while they pee on themselves. Because it's scared. This is like a full animal turd, dude. You see it, Greg? Makes me wonder if it was just sitting there taking a duke in the sink when I came in there and scared it. All right, I need the firehouse subs. Pause it. No, you don't have to pause it. You know, keep, he can keep telling you the story. Okay, go ahead. I'm just going to be brief. Well, that was, the, that was the end of the story. I mean, we searched everywhere. We didn't find any holes or anywhere it could have got in. The only way it could have got in was to turn up the tree a couple of feet away from the window and jump, jump across to the window. You got to remember to always... Uh, mouse traps work too, man. But I mean, coming into your sink the next morning and seeing a fucking turd just sitting there like, what the hell, man? Did you eat it? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why, why wouldn't you? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Why would you? He's got a point. Why would you? It's Greg? a delicacy. Yeah, in France, maybe. Not here. In America, that's just called nasty. Apologies to any of our French fans. Look, Christians for years have been eating possum turds, okay? Sure they have. Sure they have. 
are the ones that's been thrown to me by people like Lawrence. All right, grand off the balls. Grand off the balls. Take the next right Gand off the drive. <laughs> Gand off the ball. Oh, I said grand. Did you see it here? It has to be grand. The last thing I'm going to say about that whole thing, Lawrence, that I don't think is I'm not even. I'm, all I'm going to say is if I'm judged for anything that I do in this life, right it's going to be by God and not by humans. I don't care about the human judgment. Do you care about the final judgment? Well, I would absolutely care about the final judgment. Hey, we're back by the library again. Did you call it a library or a library? Library. Nobody calls it a library. What the fuck? I need some of those libraries, haven't you? Continue on Old Highway 49 for one and a half miles. Like verbally, vocally illiterate. I don't understand what your fucking problem is, Lawrence. You! Why don't you do something about it? No. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about looking at new places. I don't feel like it. Because if that's all we're here for, to get killed and shit, then fuck it. I was right to try to kill myself that day, huh? No, you weren't. It, it, hold on, wait a minute. You said if all, all we're here for is to try to get killed? Is to, to fight each other and kill each other and, and make death threats and you know. I mean, what's the I mean if you're gonna break it down to the basest elements, then then what you're saying is we're just here to fucking be happy. Fucking kill. It's the military industrial complex at its best. Dude. Yeah, but that's. I mean, if you're going the if you're going what you were talking about the religion route, then that's not what we're here for. We're not here to kill. We're to fucking be happy. Well, as long as you get married to fuck. You know, according to Sean, everyone that you fuck, you're married to. He's not wrong. I mean, I'd be married to But that means that you're a rapist. You'd be married to your rapist. Oh, that's brutal. See, that's brutal. But no, going back to what you said, I don't believe people are born a certain way. I believe people are made. People are not born a, way, a certain way. They're made a certain way. All the events that's ever happened to me in my life are what shaped me into the person so I am he, right he now. So he intentionally makes psychopaths that want to eat somebody's face. Did, did you not just listen to what I just said? I said I don't believe anyone is born a specific way. But you said they're made, so what you're saying is technically he... Made by the world, not made by God. Well, you didn't clarify that. <laughs> I immediately followed it up with everything that's ever happened to me in my life is the reason I am today, the way I am today. I figured it would be assumed. Still open to interpretation. If you're not listening. No, I mean even listening. But no, you should have never tried that, Lawrence. You were an idiot for doing that. Anyways, I'm watching all the Harry Potters, and like, I'm so mad that I missed out on this. Were you a fan? Uh, I told you, I told you about the Harry Potter thing with me. Like, the, for the longest time, because I was such a Lord of the Rings nerd, I, uh, I just, I hated on the Harry Potter movie. What, dude? I just talked about how much they, how much they sucked and how terrible they were, because my niece was crazy about it. Now, keep in mind, I had never seen a single one of them. Never read one of the books, nothing. Then, I caught one of the Harry Potters and, uh, you know, on TV or somehow, and I watched it, and I'm like, as I'm watching it, I'm like, you know, this isn't bad, actually. This is actually kind of good. It's really good if you like that kind of thing. Yeah, so I was like, then I immediately rebuked everything I said. I even told my niece, I was like, okay, so I was wrong about the Harry Potter thing. It's actually kind of cool. And since then, I've liked the Harry Potter stuff, but... I've never been, I'm not like a diehard like some people. Like, I went to Universal Studios and went to the Harry Potter Broken world. And I, when I, I, to me, it was just me. Right <laughs> I mean, the books were what was good. Yeah, I gotta read the books. I think, I th yeah, I think if, uh, if those, mo if the movies and books would have meant more to me, the Harry Potter world would have probably been better. Been better. Well, for someone like me who, you know, for a large part of my school years and stuff like that was a reader, that's why they missed something. Why did it have to be a dark corner? Why couldn't it be a well-lit corner? Less likely to be seen by people. If it means I gotta try a little bit harder to see what I'm reading, I will. You're gonna have to cut that recluse shit out. 
but, right, Lawrence? But in today's world, I don't blame him, dude. The world sucks, man. It's not getting any better. Dude, when just having a certain type of name gets your ass kicked at school for a while, I mean, come on, why the fuck would you want to be around people? Well, it's definitely not going to get any better with an attitude like that, Lawrence. See, you said something that stuck out to me one time and I asked you, like, if the world's so shit, why did you choose to have a daughter? And you said she might be the one to change it. How do you figure? She could be, dude. Even if she doesn't change it on a massive scale, she might. But we discussed this, too. We said the days of one person being able to change the world or do anything are dead. Not necessarily. People creating things like vaccines and cures for stuff. It's still world-changing stuff. Why did I bring? Why did I bring my daughter into a world like this so she can be better than I ever was? Only reason I'm buying this stupid house is for her. It's different, dude. Once you have kids, your life doesn't have as much meaning anymore. I know that sounds morbid and sad but it's true and anyone who says otherwise is just selfish like I see these videos where people talk about don't in you know don't don't invest everything don't give up on your own future to focus on your child you should still care about you and blah 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 I'm like whatever dude and do you even have kids this sounds pessimistic it does. Pretty sure there'd be at least a 40 or 50% counter to that. Sure there is, but it's just not the way I see it. That's the beauty about the world, though. Continue for two miles. I, ca I came from mostly nothing and made a little something. You so why? from nothing. You had running water, didn't you? As I said, I came from mostly nothing, made a little something. I'm not going to have you fucking do that, okay? That. Wait, what'd you say, Shadow? Discred discrediting what he said. I guarantee compared to your, your upbringing, it wasn't the same as mine. I mean, everyone says it, but there's always somebody. I knew a guy one There's going to be similarities in everybody's. I didn't say the similarities. Like, for example, you had to deal with that dickhead asshole uh, stepdad. But what Greg's talking about is I had to deal with, thing. yeah, I had to deal with not knowing if we're going to have groceries on the table and having to go borrow money from your landlord to buy food for the week. Oh, I see what you're saying. So when you try to discredit me saying I came from nothing, it's like a slap in the face. Because guess what? My daughter's never, ever going to experience that. Not one time. But here's the thing. It made you stronger all those moments. I, I don't regret it. There's no regret. The only regret I have is not doing better in school. See, when you bring up something like that, like you always do, because I'm saying like every time we're in a car ride, you bring up something. Every time something's brought up, you always pull the it made you stronger thing, but that's not the point. Nobody wants to go through that. Nobody willingly goes through that. The it made you stronger thing is invalid because that implies that somebody would be willing to do it again. True, true. And the majority of people there's who very, do such things are not willing to go through something. And like, it's like Shadow saying, there's very few people that if you went to them and you said, hey, if you could go back in time and change anything, would you? Very few people say, nope, wouldn't change a thing. Everybody has some sort of trauma they'd like to bury. And if they do say that they wouldn't change a thing, I think they were lying. I'd immediately look at them and be like, oh, so you are you wouldn't go back and change your ugly fucking face? <laughs> what is wrong with you? God dang, dude, you're like... I can openly say I would, I would go back and make it to where I was one of the wealthier kids who actually had things. 
No, here's what you're all fucked up. I would rather switch places with somebody. Like, even if I reach this age. Switch places. Just that's, switch that's places. Because I would be evil then. You know what I'm saying? I would jump into someone else's body and just take over the world type See, shit. the problem is you never know what, what they're already dealing with. You may try to switch places with them. I wouldn't give a you fuck because I wouldn't be emotionally invested in it. You may think certain things, but what if you get into their what if you get into their life or body and it's totally different than what you thought it was? It doesn't matter because I'm not emotionally invested to their problems. Like if they're having an argument with their parents, fuck it, I don't care about their parents. It would just be a I'd be like fuck it, I'm just gonna go solo me. Yeah, but like, you jump into their life and you think it's gonna go this way and it starts going sideways and you can't stop it. But I can because I'm not invo- emotionally invested in their bullshit. But you're already in their life. You can't just jump out. Is your you li- was your life really that bad, Lawrence? I mean, honestly. I never got laid, dude. So what? Good for you. It's a crutch. No, I did get. I did get the blowjob. I still consider. Oh, you admit it. it. Still not getting laid. It is because it's a, oral sex is sex, dude. So, that, sex. so if you oral force your penis into someone's mouth, you're not gonna go up rape charges. You're not on sexual assault charges. He makes a point. Like that. Charges. <laughs> your dick went into someone else. Sex. It's not sex. Another it is. You just don't want it to be, dude. I don't know sex why. Sex involves vaginal penetration. Does oral. where does it say that, dude? Where? Where does it say it in the rule book? Yeah, where's, where's your rule There's book? There's literally a definition about sex that it involves vaginal penetration. Look up the definition. I hate this episode already. <laughs> I hate it so much. Quarter mile, turn right onto Afgrad Road. I'm pretty sure along with the definition to the word sex, there will be the, uh, what's the word, uh, there will be the similarity for the word intercourse there listed too. I hope these people realize that I can't come inside the base to give them this food. Oh, hell, it was a base delivery. Take the next left to stay on Apgrad Road. Uh, it it looks like you have to call them because I don't see anybody out here. In 1,000 feet, turn left. Why do people from the base still order if they know you can't go on the base? I don't know. And then we're going to get shot because of these fucking idiots. Don't they have like five food court restaurants on bases? Not this? this one. This is the... This is not this one. This is Air National Guard. Oh, okay. They're bougie. I can't come on the base, so how am I supposed to get you this food? Question mark. See, look at this. We're getting greeted by fucking greedy. police. Oh, greeted. I thought you said greedy. I was like, the fuck you talking about greeted? greeted by the fucking police. We're going to come out and question us and start flashing flashlights. I mean, what if it's them that ordered the food, though? Might be. It might be. Because he's literally turning around, so he might be going to get out, get the food, hop in, and pull back away. I understand you're white and you like cops, man, but I get nervous still. You think I like cops? I'm gonna wave you down if I need you to bring me food, alright? It's gonna look like he's waving you to get a gun, so just act accordingly. Make sure that when you go out there with the bag, you reach behind your back. (laughs) I promise you won't get tased. You might get shot, though. Greg's like, I'm getting on this fucking base. (laughs) <laughs> oh, it's like a it's a fucking grandpa security guard over there too trying to like tough with his arms crossed wait is he actually gonna let us on base holy shit well that's entirely unheard of does that cop realize he's driving away with his fucking door open no he's gonna let the wind close it for him he's gonna go fast and then press the brakes and then close it for him what do you say? Pull through. Wait, what? See, I told you. But Greg, I fought. That's what I said. That's a fucking unheard of. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, they have food delivery right over here. 
what's funny is uh it's like I go up to ask he's like fuck no man you better put your Glock away all right I'm guessing it's the chick sitting out the driver's side of the car looking inside your window like, that she's, like she like she just knows it has to be you. Oh, this is for Antonio. Okay, well, he could have a girlfriend. What if Antonio has a girlfriend? Greg, the drink. Sound like a lighter. Hand me my phone. I might need that drink too. Watch the order be the wrong name. Here you go, Greg. I think Antonio was the subs. Hold on, I gotta call this person first. You can hang this on the back there. The car seat. Or just set it in there. It's a pretty good jacket. I don't want it sitting on the floor, on the floorboards. Why is it that even the people in uniform on his face look like they're nips? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? They always look like that. Is it judgmental only to think that guy looks like an Antonio? I believe right. he might be there. No, you just turn around right here. So every car pulled in here is a door dasher. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna listen to that. Yeah. It's funny because the dude walked away from him like immediately. I mean, we're like number seven of the DoorDashers. Like half of everybody's already pulled back out, but apparently, uh, the base is ordering a lot today. That dude has a very pink phone. Yeah. <laughs> Here, hold this. Please. It doesn't I, I, gotta, I can't, I gotta at least park so I'm not in these. Dude, the bag is the on food. the fucking hood. I'm just pulling right over here. And then the bag goes flat. It's like gonna be hard. fine. Will you stop freaking out, please? I'm not freaking out. I'm about to laugh because you got hit a bump and send a bag flying. It's not gonna go flying, dude. I'm driving literally two miles an hour. I'm just not gonna block these people in. He's bald, man. No one likes bald rock. Dude, somebody had, uh, somebody was shared something a while back on Facebook, and they were talking about how The Rock does too many things that aren't Christian, and tagged what? The Rock in it, and apparently The Rock ended up commenting back on their fucking profile on Twitter, and said, well, you know, if you're really a Christian, I could tell you a few things about the Bible, and the Bible also says that you shouldn't get you shouldn't get a divorce and you shouldn't cheat on your husband. But one look at your Facebook profile tells me everything I need to know. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's like don't talk Christian if you're only gonna if you're only gonna pick and choose the rules that you want to follow, which is literally it was some, what he said was something along the lines of uh, don't quote the Bible when you're only gonna pick and choose the parts you want to follow or something like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, think about how many Christians are are doing a lot of fucked up shit that's fucked up in the Bible. Yet they're calling themselves Christians. It's like, yeah, okay, but you do this, this, and this, and that's not Christian. But are they happy about it? That's the difference. Hmm. 
Happy or not, we all do what's in our nature to do. It's in my nature. Some people, it's in your Some people, it's in our nature to be a nut job. We should hit that other red SUV because there can only be one. <laughs> there are rivals. Go on, fucking Highlander with the. There are rivals! I just need a drink. Yeah. You see? And I'm not waiting around here, dude. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you just gotta go leave it with the security dude. Oh god, what if the security dude is Antonio? I don't fucking know. Except it's the security booth is like, I'm gonna leave this here for Antonio. I can't wait here all day. And it's like, oh, Drake, I'm Antonio. Drake's so aggro, dude. <laughs> but why? He gets late, so why is he so angry? Because <laughs> it's probably not as much as anybody would like. Yeah, he did tell me that. Like, once you get married, there's like no more sex. Uh, pause the video. Huh? Pause the video. <sighs> At least they were pretty nice about it, yeah. I mean, this guy's a fucking idiot, dude. He, like, gave me no instructions whatsoever. So, is he coming to get his food, or are they taking it to him, or what the fuck's going on? Did he expect you to drive to his house? We can't be on base. Yeah, I can't just park my vehicle here and wait for him. Probably a fucking moronic nobody. Dude, how many orders are coming into base today? Look at all this shit. It's ridiculous, dude. They're ordering in, but they gotta have someone to pick them up. Yeah, but look at how many different cars are here bringing deliveries to base today. What the fuck is going on at the base today that everybody's ordering in? It's all the fucking people on base. They probably got paid. Oh, you know what? That actually makes a lot of fucking sense. So now they're all ordering food, but I'm like, because yeah, if, if you got if you you gotta fucking tell somebody. Because that's just order after order after order pulling in there. You just totally ran that red light. I don't give a shit, dude. <laughs> I can't see it anyway. It's like that fucking helicopter's gotta come up off the stand over there and chase us down. Alright. Oh, right. somebody's order killed him. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty clutch. Crap, I didn't... Take the next left onto airport road. God damn motherfucker, come on. In half a mile, make a U-turn and visit Oh fucking drive. fuck me. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Quande Road. First fucking delivery is a fucking shit show. These stupid I guarantee all of them's gonna be like this today too. Unless they're all to the fucking base. That's what it, 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 all of them's gonna be to the fucking base. All these stupid fucking base idiots it's ordering food. Road. I was gonna say, because it seemed like the entire fucking base was ordering in today. Yeah, well, they got a runner, but they got one person doing it. They need to have more than one. But the thing is, I mean, see, I told you something was well, weird. I, mean, I, thought, I thought there were way too many orders coming in. Shameless. And those guards, dude, I'm like, I'm like, can I just leave it with one of y'all? And they're like, oh, I can't leave it with us. I thought they were nice. <laughs> and then this guy texts me, he's like, please tell the guards not to eat it. What, is the guard going to eat his fucking order? Come on. Yeah, I told him, I'm like, dude, I, I, I can't fucking yeah, wait around for this shit. There's a thing, man. It's like, they fight for our freedom, so the least we can do is just, you know. The least I can do is waste my fucking time for them? Fuck that shit. We don't know if any of them are even active. Half of them That's on the, the fucking base reserve probably, anyway. Half of them on the base are probably just doing training. <laughs> <laughs> goes, that's a reserve anyways. Yeah, that's funny. The back up to the back up. Yeah, that's the people they take after everyone else has died. I don't know why that's funny. It's not really funny. It is. And besides, I'm not... I'm not feeling very fucking safe and protected while someone eats a 30-piece chicken nugget <laughs> and drinks a fucking Diet Dr. Pepper. 
so at least, at least we got a diet, Doctor Pepper. So was the guy eating that? Did did it, did uh, the extension of his name involve two of everything? I straight up told him I was like, I can't wait around here. I got other orders. If he wants to leave me a bad rating, then so be it. I just left my the fucking food on the on sidewalk. Out there fast enough, just be like, I think I saw the guard. That's why I took a picture of it and sent it to him. Just because I'm like, that way, if Grubhub tries to do anything, I'm like, look, I can send you a picture of where I left the food. Be like, look, Grubhub, I can't sit here all fucking night for one order. Motherfucker wasn't even tipping that good. wanted to give me was the tip. My mom was telling me to find a Filipino wife, right? I told my mom, it's going to be worse because she's going to come here thinking that she's going to be entitled to have this beautiful life. Of course. And let me guess, she already has someone lined up for you. <laughs> Always. Or she's going to talk to her Filipino friends there and they're going to find someone for me. But here's the thing. I don't want someone who's going to be fucking disappointed in me because I'm not living in a fucking mansion. Or someone who's going to run your entire and life. And they will be disappointed in you. Yeah, that's what I tell them. I'm like, they're going to be disappointed. There's no way around it. And then they're going to be all bitter. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? Or someone who's going to take over and run and control your fucking life like it's a dog and pony well, Guess what? I lost my other order because... Ooh, Hibachi Express, seventeen dollar order. Here's, Those are good. Here's the thing, dude. Filipinos think we live. In, you're right about that, Shadow. Filipinos think we, because my mom fought that. But the thing is, you know, what if she comes over here thinking that she's gonna be the one wearing the pants, running you around? Nah, it's not so much that. It's more of the they want to just be pampered. They want. Yeah, you don't. Down. You don't understand Asian women. They they're not the type that wants to come here and control you like that. No, they don't want to do that, dude. They they want you to do all that, but they want they want to do absolutely nothing. And they need a man that can do I've everything. I've said it before. What they want is for you to be successful so they can live off of that success. Exactly. They want it doesn't mean that they don't want to work. They just want all of the success to be off of you. Yeah. Like, they'll still go make their own little money but and see, such that's like the thing that. about that is people tend to, when they, when they tend to live off someone else's success and act like it's their own, when it's not. That's what they do, man. It's like, and it, it's, the thing is, they just enjoy it. They just like their man being, they're old-fashioned in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want their man to be a king, but so that they can live off nothing. This is what's weird to me, though, about their cultures. Like, they come here, and they want the man to be the provider, the man to do this, man, man, do that. Yeah. But over there, it's not like that, dude. Like, the men over there, most, almost every household, the man ain't the provider. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, everyone has to provide. Yeah, it's always like that. But that's their misconception of America. Is, is that their they misconception have, of America? Or do they come over here knowing that we don't know that to take advantage of that? No, dude. It's, it's not a not take that. advantage it's of things. See, you're, you're thinking like an American. That's not saying. just American thinking. That's it the thinking is, of anybody dude. logically. You're, you're, you're giving them too much credit, honestly. They, yeah. they're, they're very simple-minded, dude. They're in a, Not in a bad way. They're very just old-fashioned, explain dude. the logic behind living one way and come over here and totally changing that. Because their like, fantasy is like 1950s they, America, dude. They actually, my wife explained this to me perfectly. And this makes sense, honestly. She's like, it's not that we forget where we come from. It's the fact that we've started the upgrade process, so we don't want to stop. Because we've already been at the bottom, so we only want to go up from here. We're not trying to go up, down, up, down. We want to go straight up, and that's it. But here's what they need to realize. That's kind of unrealistic. Dude. It is. It's very unrealistic. And they need to kind of get, get over that. You might just flatline, dude. There's no guarantee you're going to be a fucking Warren Buffett. Just and that's you're... why your mom is so hard on you, because whenever... Whenever you do something like when you fuck up or you don't know how to do something that she wants you to do or whatever, she sees you as one of those downward slopes. Yeah. You're you're hindering her somehow, even though it may, she may be the one responsible. Right. She's holding you responsible. Exactly. Because you're bringing her down, not you being brought down. Yeah, you're not building her up. You're bringing her down. And that's the thing. She wants my success. To live off of. Yeah. Yeah. And me f fucking up is her inheriting my failure. Uh, well, it's not It's not that she wants your success wholly. Yeah. What it is is she wants you to be successful enough that you can not only take care of yourself, but also take care, care of her. her. Exactly. Because it's not like they want to just take, take, success. take. Yeah. 
But but it's not like she wants to him to not be successful or achieve the things that he wants. But at the or same like, time, when you told me it's nothing to do with the take advantage mentality, actually a large part of it is because I because we went to that party and saw that several of those Filipino women at the party were very young, married to very oh, young men. Yeah. That we explained that even you admitted to that it was one of those situations where a really old guy with a lot of money. Okay, Shadow, once but once in a while gets laid, and then she gets all the money and whatever. Guess she what? Wants. These and Asian women life. didn't reach out to these old men. Those old men reached out to those Asian women first. But you can't say it's not a take advantage mentality when. In a lot of cases, it is. Not all cases, and maybe not even half. Not really, because they'll stay with those old motherfuckers until the day they die. That is true. They are. They will stay with them. They're but that doesn't, make it a, that doesn't mean it's not a take advantage mentality. I mean, it is. It's taking advantage of the situation. Well, I mean, dude, they live in piss poor poverty. Dude. Yeah. Are you not going to take, you know what I'm saying? If somebody offers you an out, you're not going to say no. It's like, oh, I'm struggling to fucking even know if I'm going to eat next yeah, week. Dude, dude. Or this old guy's willing to... Move me to and the U.S. The part, and all I have to do is suck his dick every once in a while. Here's the thing you're, you're failing to understand. It's not like they get with the guy, get here, and leave the guy. They still stay with him to the fucking end. They'll be fucking loyal. You know, that's the whole thing. They'll owe their life to that Give fucking that dude. I think that's got a charge on it now. Yeah, they're very, they're very, very loyal people. But you can't say you know for a fact that every single one of them that comes over is going to be that loyal and not play around. Not every one of them, but the majority will. The majority will. of them will, yeah. It's a cultural thing. It's like, like but, I told you about my dad, how I hated my dad for going to prison or My mom will defend him till the day she dies. Yep. Even if he, he was charged in one state, right, for the fucking crime, gets out, does the same shit in Florida... I tell my mom this all the time. Like, he was not arrested just once but twice, and there's a pattern. She's like, no, he's just accused, and she'll get mad at me. But she will defend him till the day she dies. He's done no wrong, even though he wasn't in my life for 14-plus uh, years. But see, I'm not trying to say all of them are a certain way. All I said to begin with that I'm making my point here is that there is a take-advantage mentality. That's in every country, dude. But every say, fucking... Yeah, that, I mean, every... Every country has women that are going to take advantage of men. So, yeah, I know, but this a... is one of those times where you make your point and show that you're right, and that's what I'm doing because you immediately shot me down before I got a chance to before. So, by the take advantage mentality, you just mean like the women are capable of it. That a lot of them actually, you do it. See, that's where I have a problem with your statement is that you say a lot. Okay, I would say a saying, few. I'm not saying half of them or the majority, but yes, a lot. <laughs> But a lot would suggest the majority. Yeah, that, then you would... The maj a majority would suggest a majority, not a lot. So why can't you change a lot to a few? Yeah, why can't you change it to, like, there are some outliers? Because a few would make it sound like it's almost none, which isn't true. I think it probably is almost none. Yeah, I think it's... I, I, I think, I guarantee you, it's not even a third of the population. Yeah, that's... That's more German women. German women are notorious for it. Actually, not so much German as Russian. Russian oh, women are the ones yeah, that Russian. are notorious for it. Now, that one I would 100% agree with you on a lot. <laughs> but not... I, I, with Filipino women, man, it's different. What's sad is it's like... Life is funny, man. It's like you get you get berated to lose your uh, your V card, and people bash you all the time and say, "Then why you do it?" And when you finally do, they're, they're disappointed in your your choice. I saw that a lot of times. I'd get a girlfriend or something, and they'd be like, "You with her?" She's yeah, fat. I mean, I, we're not we're not disagreeing with you at all, Shadow. We actually agree with you. We just yeah, don't agree. agree with the wording. Yeah. So these people are getting the Alaska sushi roll. Well, let's go ahead and get it, man. We're just sitting in here. Well, I mean, it's probably not ready yet. It's hibachi this place. This place always takes time. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait another couple of minutes and just record. Because if not, I'm just gonna go in there and sit, and we're not recording. So in about five minutes, I'll head inside. So Greg, why don't we do a top ten virgins list? Who would be your number one? Oh, uh, Apostle Paul. I told you that before. But you know what? On that subject, Wait, that'd be putting him over Jesus. No, Jesus know, would have to be number one. Yeah. On that subject, uh, who gives a fuck what anybody else thinks? If you fucked her and you liked Obi -Wan her, Obi-Wan Kenobi, cares? Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. Oh, wait. Yeah, Luke, Luke yes. I was thinking oh, the Jade Morrow thing doesn't count because of uh, can't, uh, Expanded. Uh-huh. So I can't. 
Because that one guy, Cedric, who used to work here pushing buggies, used to love that Jade Mara shit. I'm like, dude, that's... What the fuck are you talking about? Luke Scott, the red-headed chick and the expanded... Well, book. actually, Lawrence. He said, Luke, Luke Skywalker. Jade Mara. If you're going by the expanded dude, books... Luke Skywalker I mean, had a even, wife. If you're going by the expanded... <laughs> if you're going by the expanded books, I mean, Luke Skywalker became one of the only great Jedi. Hold on. No, hold on. Listen to this show. In this... the beginning, Luke's lightsaber wasn't even blue. It was actually orange. <laughs> He was given it by Jay Morrow. That's his wife. <laughs> he was like, just kind of like. Jay Morrow was his wife. Yeah, because we were talking about the new Star Wars coming out, and he kept bringing it up. I'm like, she's not in there, dude. I don't think <laughs> it follows that 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 timeline. He's like, I well, mean, what? It, but that's his wife. You see, uh, Jay Morrow was. <laughs> I mean, if they go by the expanded books on anything, I mean, that would actually be admitting that Luke actually went and explored the dark side for a while as well as the light. To literally become what's known as a gray Jedi to have a perfect balance of both powers. On both God, powers. I hate gray Jedi. We have a whole episode on Psychic called F Gray Jedi. Oh, yeah. We fucking hate gray Jedi. We hate gray Jedi. That was one of our earliest episodes. In the process, in the I course, love that episode, by the way. I do too. I mean, I'm just saying, if you're going expanded, I mean, that's a big thing. No, we don't go expanded. He does. He loves expanded. I was going to say, because that would be a big thing. You know, the whole thing where he almost died becoming a gray Jedi and had to kill a couple of others. We're not talking about the Dark Empire. Those are the Star Wars Empire. fans that. I don't like those ones that want that dark side loot. Yeah, I wouldn't so, so much say anything about wanting it, but I do understand where somebody would actually think about trying to study both sides to actually become a neutral force. But he wouldn't do that. It has nothing to do with the Order of the Jedi. And George Lucas even said, "See, we're not about to enter this new thing." But George Lucas has said he's like, he's like, people want Star Wars to be Terminator. No, it's very simple. If you, good guys have blue lightsabers. They have green ones. The bad guys have the red ones. He's like, they keep wanting to, to mix them. He's like, no, you're either evil. Because, you know, they gave a Sokotano white lightsaber. He didn't Mace do Windu that because he, he didn't create that character. And as far as the Mace Windu, there was a logical reason for that. As because far as also the he, expanded books and the video games all bring out orange and yellow lightsabers. Not, well. his, not his doing. And the, the Mace Windu thing worked like this. He gave him a green lightsaber, I believe, or a blue one. And Mace Windu said, I can't see me on the screen. And Mace and. Everyone knows Sam Jackson has an ego. So if he wants to be seen on the fucking screen, George Lucas is not going to say, fuck you, I'm doing it my way. He's going to cave into that dude's demands because he's a, he's a top A actor. That's not just a Mark Hamill. or Exactly. Having Samuel L. Jackson yeah. in a Star Wars movie he is asked, a pretty big fucking yeah, deal. And he, he, the point is, a lot of things that may not be canon that are part of Expanded now, if they end up caving in to somebody else's desires, will become canon. Shadow. We've discussed this before. Unless George Lucas comes to your house with a cup of coffee and says, this is happening. I don't care, dude. George Lucas' <laughs> rules. Ahsoka Tano, white lightsabers. And that's cool, but I mean, it, 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 they explain that too with the Kyber crew. Uh -huh. I, will, I will ascend to that. Uh -huh, but, but still, I will, I will things to that, that would not have been considered canon that now are. But let me ask you this. But are they? Because Lucas didn't write it. I mean, if it got tied into I mean, canon, then it is. It, you got me. I don't even consider the entire new trilogy canon. To me, oh, the yeah. canon ends with fucking... Episode 6. Yep. <laughs> no, the canon ends after episode 3. Yeah, no, it, it ends after episode 6, Return of the Jedi. His last film was uh, Return, Revenge of the Sith, though. Oh, you're going in chronological. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, got gotcha, you. Gotcha. But I mean, Greg does have a point about one thing. That is actually uncanon, especially especially if they're going to try to tie Mandalorian in as canon. And that was what Luke used when you actually see Luke in the Mandalorian. He used a dark side ability crushing all those droids. I don't. Well, I never the, said uh, that yeah. was a dark side ability. No, that's a force ability. The, the force, and, ability, and, uh, no, the force abilities usually had to do with throwing back and lifting. Only dark side abilities had you to do with You play Knights of the Old Republic. The fucking force crush move was a fucking Jedi ability. It was a Jedi ability. ability. Pretty sure the crush was a dark No, side it was a Jedi right. ability. I remember that fucking game, and that was a Jedi. I love doing it with a. Uh, because a lot of people who said that, that Luke used a dark side ability, I'm like, no, he didn't, dude. That Force Crush was a fucking light, a light ability. The only difference is in the games, they made it look different. It wasn't where he went like this and fucking it was inside their body, a big fucking fist, basically. Came so down. you're saying, so you're saying it's a light side Jedi ability if Luke uses it on a person? Yeah, but it do, it's it's not like what you think. It's not like it crushes their fucking heart and kills them. I mean, them. It, it did that to the droids exactly. It caved and crushed And he used it on a droid. He would never have used that on a person, nope. dude. 
But and if, if you would have, it would have been. Never, if he would never use it on a person, then how can you say it's a light side of the force ability? Because he, he can, pro if, if he can control the force, he can control the impact of it. Obviously, yeah. he could crumple them up and just throw them back. Exactly. And here's the thing: is like that make it to where their arms and legs are useless. Just because a Jedi can do certain things doesn't mean they use it for every situation. Dude. Finish that thought, because we're gonna pause it and continue this when I get back. I'm going in there with you. I'll pause it. Who cares? We were walking around a store, not hurting anybody. Not hurting any products, not messing with anything. This is another messing. fucking Ignore base delivery. <laughs> oh, God. Do you need the bag, Lawrence? Yeah, do you? I would do it. Yeah. Oh, you said still have the small one. I have the small one right here. Okay. You can put them all I in I can tell bag. by the address. It's another It's another base delivery. What's with these fucking base people ordering food, dude? Okay. Did, you not, did you not see what I, what I was pointing out about how many cars pulled in just as we were pulling out? It's ridiculous. Just as we left the base, there were four other cars pulling in doing deliveries. Like, what, did these people ridiculous. just get back? Well, I think it's what you said. They, 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 <laughs> they just, just got, got back paid today and they're blowing all their damn money on ordering food. He said, did they just get back from Iraq? What the fuck are they so hungry for? Well, like I said, I think it's what you said before. You know, they just got their money and they're blowing it all on orders. Actually, what I think it is, is they're about to go to war. I think that they've been on fucking old super lockdown mode, and they've had to eat nothing but that but fucking the, base yeah, food. Defect food. Yeah, for, for, see, for the longest. For the the base it it the does. They all live in one base. Yeah. What does make more sense is them them getting paid today and blowing all their money on it. I think it's a combination of yeah, both. Yeah, it's a combination of both. Because if they were on lockdown and they're having to eat nothing but base food. You saw how skinny that one guy was. He like he ain't eaten fucking a month. With the mustache? Yeah, yeah. But do you think there's going to be very many fat people on base? Come on. That guy looked like he'd be good You'd be surprised how many people go to the military and get fat. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. My bro, my boy Anthony got like that. While he was in the military? Yes. He All he did was eat Papa John's. How did you get fat in the yeah, military? Yeah, speaking of come which, on. you owe us a pizza. Yeah. Hey, come on with that shit, You man. think we forgot about that? We were talking about that last week. Really? What were y'all saying, y'all fucking sneak fucks? All, all, all we really said is I really wanted that pizza. We were both really fucking hungry, dude. I understand, dude. Everyone's hungry, man. Like we held on everything you, for that pizza. You, yeah. My cards, dude, because the fucking bank was fucking me up, man. Well, fuck that bank. I told you I'm going regions. Fuck that fucking bank. <laughs> <laughs> what do I make that, that fucking smile? I look like a sneak fuck. Dude. I know you do. Like, even I don't trust me. Like, <laughs> and you wonder why you get called a sneak fuck. But not like Cody, though. Cody, if you're watching, we love you. God damn it, man. I hate when y'all fucking do that. What? Look, he does not want his name mentioned on the podcast, so don't mention his fucking name on the podcast. I didn't say last name. It doesn't hey, matter. I've only ever accidentally let one name slip one time. I told him one time that we were joking like that, Snake and just messing around, and he didn't like it, dude. He's like, I don't like that. Don't do that. Snake fuck McGee is the one that always lets names slip. I've only ever done it one time accidentally, like, a couple of months Shadow, ago. it doesn't matter. So from this day forward, just, you know, we're not playing blame game or nothing. We're Mention just, our yeah. friend, our friend. You don't fucking say the names. But can't you just edit it out? I can, and I probably will, honestly. Mm. I just got to remember where it's at. This is the one time I, I just, for some reason, just decided to throw Lawrence under the bus and see what happens. Don't do that, dude. This is serious. But anyway, back to the sneak fuck thing. Yes, you do look like a sneak fuck when you do that smile. But it's not as bad as a rat smile that James Gandolfini did. No. He looks like the ultimate sneak fuck when he does that smile. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that the guy that, uh... That's Tony Soprano. I'll tell you something that upsets me, dude. The fact that there's no fucking steam at all oh, behind... Oh, for this Many Saints of Newark. Yeah, Many Saints of Newark. What's that really good actor? I can't remember his name, but he was most recently well-known for playing the Green Goblin in one of the Spider-Man Oh, Willem Dafoe. Yes. He has a sneak fucking He smile. does. I love his fucking face. When he gets, <laughs> when he gets smiling, his whole fucking face contorts until... He looks like the devil, dude. Fuck you can imagine. He looks like the devil when he makes that face. Back to this Many Saints of Newark thing. Yeah, Shadow kind of... Like, yeah, dude, there's no steam behind it. It's like nobody gives a fuck that it's even coming out. I wouldn't be surprised if someone said, what the fuck is a uh, mini saint of Newark? I, you know, I'll tell you what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen with that movie. This is my prediction. 
it is going to bomb in the box office. Yeah. But it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those movies that's so fucking good, everyone will talk about it and they'll see it after the fact. Right. I mean, all I know is that it mentioned one of uh, it was about the upbringing of one of the Sopranos. Yeah, it was the upbringing of Antonio Soprano. The only Soprano that matters. Oh, AJ and Meadow in the room. Look how dark it is. Why? I hate when it gets this dark. You can still hear us, but you just can't see us. So they can't see that sneak fuck smile that you do. <laughs> Good. I don't want to be known as that. That helicopter. I don't want to buy that helicopter. You don't want to be known as the repo man? Take the next ride. The repo man. You think we'd get in trouble if we broke in there and took a picture of it at night? Yeah, we'd go to jail. Like, uh, with us standing next to it? Well, I think if two of us push the third one the down, right we're away. back here. I mean, I, I told you that's another fucking base delivery. Take the next left to stay on after. I was there when he said it. What the hell is going on here? I think uh, if we two of us push the third person down, the two of us would get away and only one person gets in trouble. They're probably not letting them through the gate anymore. They're probably making us all park right here for our deliveries now. Good. Somebody probably got butt hurt about us going through the gate, about everybody going through the gate. Before. The dude's food's still here. Did he just not come get his food? Should we pick it back up? No, I'm done with that delivery. Take the order. <laughs> uh, it is going to be... Sorry, I didn't have it loaded up here. I had my GPS. I guess, what is your name, sir? My name is Greg. I'm your... Uh, for Reed, Nicholas Reed. Reed. Yeah, Nick Reed. Yeah, I'm picking oh, up. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. He wanted to jump the shower, so I'm picking up his food. Okay, cool. That's the heavy bag. There is that. Uh, do let him know that they said they don't do the uh, shrimp tempura bento box for lunch and, and dinner. Okay. So they just gave him the shrimp tempura. It's got the dipping sauce and everything. The only thing it doesn't have is the vegetables. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, at least that guy was manageable. They look cool, dude. I'm not going to lie. That they uniform do. is just badass. I wish I was in a military uniform. Well, what's up? What's up with military police or security here? What do you mean? Well, you don't notice that his outfit is different. He's actually he's actually military police or military security. He's not part of the base itself. I don't know. That is cool though. You notice there's two of them. The stage. It's still. It's not gonna let me fucking stage with black shirts. That means that there, that means they must be afraid something's gonna happen with like these. Oh, I'm let let him focus right now. Yeah, I need to focus on this because it's not letting me hit arrived, and I'm gonna have to call customer care to complete the fucking order. Just go ahead and call them. Don't fight it. For well, I, I know a way to fix this. It's what I always have to do. Just saying preemptively may be easier to just call them. I'm going to try this first, Shadow. Then if not, it doesn't work, I will call them. Because if I call them and I get on the phone, then I'm just going to be fucking talking to them. But I'm like, oh, I got the quarter completed. It's always better to try my thing first. There, see? No need to call. Got to trust me, man. Been doing this a long time. You gotta trust me. How many times have I been wrong about this stuff? You were wrong this time. <laughs> no, you didn't give me a chance. You just kept hard-headedly doing your thing. Because you were telling me to call, and I already told you I wasn't gonna call. Unless yeah. I had no, to. No, you didn't. You, you, the first thing out of your mouth was that you were gonna have to call. I said, I may have to call if this doesn't work. No, no, no. You said, I'm gonna have to call because it's not working. But then I immediately followed it up with, I'm gonna try this first. Okay. But and then, then you started... Jumping down my throat about just go ahead and call, just go ahead and call. Don't fuck around, <laughs> it would just go have been ahead and easier call. And, time, and less time consuming. Because most of the time when you do that, you're fucking with it for like 15 minutes trying to get it to go work. But that didn't happen this time. That didn't happen this time. Today. But in the grand scheme of things, it normally does. Look, I'm, I'll fully admit that I, I get aggravated, end up having to call and shit like that. I've had to do it before, but this didn't happen this time. I was right. You were wrong. Actually, I was right. Explain how. Because all I said was call it in. It'd be less time consuming than almost every other time. It wouldn't have been less time consuming than what I just did, though. You didn't actually know that for a fact, though. I 
did know that because Lawrence, have I not done exactly that before to ride to pull yeah, all the way to the end there yeah. and it, to hit a ride? Of the time you end up having to call when it's to pull on that stretch road. Majority, majority Why is it so hard for you to admit you're wrong? Yeah. It's not. There's been several times when I was wrong, I actually came right out and admitted it, but I'm not wrong this time. Next left to stay on road. I, I don't understand how you're not. Yeah, now I'm confused because he, he literally did it his way and it worked. You're saying you're right about me getting aggravated and having to call? Sure, yeah, that, that you're right about that. I've had to do that before. No one's denying that. You should have just been like, oh, well, fuck, I guess you got me this time. Take the next left onto airport road. I don't want to debate you guys anymore because you literally just try to double team me. Because you will never, ever see it from our side, dude. That's the thing. I just told you that you are absolutely right that I've done that before. I try to see it from your side, but 99% of the time, it's always got to make me the odd man out. But uh, why is no, it? I was with you today. But, on that but why stuff. is it that I can admit that? Yeah, you're Which right. That many times have I had to call, and I just get aggravated, and it ends up taking more is, time yeah. than it would have if I would have just called how from the jump. Times have I had to admit that I was wrong a lot. I can't remember a single time, Shadow. I know about ten or fifteen times in the car that I haven't proved wrong that I admit that I was wrong. Continue on Rippy Road for half a mile. Be that as it may, this time, Greg wins. Shrimp to purr does sound pretty good right about now. Actually, the sushi is what sounded good to me. I try After trying that crazy dragon roll, I am all about the sushi. In a quarter mile. Because, dude, all I got to eat that day was sushi. It was, it was two sushi. Uh, it was a sushi roll and a half a sushi roll, and, it, and I was full. Like, I couldn't even finish the second roll. I ended up leaving a piece and giving it to someone else. Jesus. Take the next right onto Creosote Road. I think it's the eel, man. You're not a sushi fan, are you, Shadow? It's okay. Dude, don't get in that mood. Don't get in that heart mood because we had a disagreement. A mile, turn left onto Taylor Boulevard. Anything. Is he in anything, Lawrence? Don't clear me out of this because he doesn't like being double teamed. <laughs> no, I'm being serious, Duh. dude. He doesn't like being double teamed. Man. Just... But Shadow, like, what do you think of uh, the new Venom trailer? Like, if they have Carnage, do you think they pick the right guy to play Carnage? Who did they pick again? I'm asking Shadow, dude. I'll just stay the fuck out of the conversation, man. Okay, well, silence doesn't do good for a podcast, so who the fuck did they pick to play him? I didn't know we were still recording because it was too dark. Half a mile, turn left. Nobody really can still hear us. We will be cutting it off soon, though. Yeah. Are you going to tell me who plays oh, him or not? Oh, yeah, um, Woody Harrelson. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. What do you think about it? Oh, uh, Woody Harrelson playing Carnage. Playing Carnage. I think seeing some of his grittier later movies, it makes sense. I didn't see him as the first pick, but he can work because he was an MBK. Not he started off. He started off as an all comedy guy in country stuff and stuff like that. Then he got darker and grittier. Then he started doing stuff that had comedy and dark, like fucking zombie land and shit. So it was just the natural evolution. And don't forget, he did Natural Born Killers. So. It was the natural evolution. He goes yeah. from, you know, cheesy and comedy to comedy and dark and then just straight dark. I honestly think Woody Harrelson can do anything. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty much yeah. golden. It's but golden. after Venom, we're less likely to see anything comedic from him. And he'll probably be taking more dark. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto US 49 South. What about Woody Harrelson as the Riddler? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they picked a better guy, uh, Paul Dano, for the new... You didn't see the new trailer with the new Riddler? No. He's more like Zodiac Killer. They changed him up. He yeah, looks, he's that's, cool. That's gonna suck. The only Riddler that was any good was Jim Carrey, and he actually did No, he wasn't, dude. He was a Joker knockoff. What the fuck do you think the Riddler was? 
the Riddler's his own character. He's more methodical. He's more, he's not loopy like that. He was exactly from the cartoon. The cartoon, was he like the Joker? No. And you're wrong, by the way. The Riddler and the fucking Adam West Batman was on point. No, he, that was inaccurate. He was just another Joker. They didn't They didn't do any type of uh, homework to figure out His who the Riddler His costume looked cool. It's fucking pajamas, dude, with question marks <laughs> on it. What is wrong with you? Just give him a suit. It wasn't a, a pajamas. And a bowler hat. It wasn't pajamas. His costume. It was Walmart pajamas. <laughs> I'm going to give you a pajama hat. Oh, I'm not doing this delivery. Fuck this shit. I didn't realize it was this far away. So, you mean to tell me, Shadow, you didn't like the Riddler from the cartoon? He was okay, but the Riddler, the Riddler Jim Carrey played, I think the only reason you don't like him is because all you saw was the end result of him at the end of the movie with the glittery costume, but you didn't pay attention to the parts where he actually played the Riddler he down to the point like of actually the Joker. making the Riddles. No, think about it. Those riddles were easy. Ed, <laughs> Edward Nigma, Edward Nigma actually literally made the puzzles. He actually played the story of the Riddler. He didn't just go wacky until about halfway through. What you're stuck on is the Riddler at the end of the movie. The whole, the whole glimmery silver shit where he just acted weird. That dude never came and got his food, and he even said, "Can you leave it there?" <laughs> Look at a fucking picture of it just sitting there. Fucking idiot. And the thing about the Riddler, a lot of his early riddles were easier because he wanted Batman to actually be this. able to solve them. It's going to be stupid, dude. The new one's going to be better, dude, because he's like actually killing motherfuckers. But that's not something the Riddler did. The Riddler, most of his puzzles were just to irk and get at Batman. He knew that sooner or later, Batman would solve most of them. And if they didn't, then oh well, you know, oh, shit went down. A couple of people died, but he just didn't go around outright. The, the, the new Riddler is a killer, dude. Well, then it's not the Riddler. Just like Jared Leto was not the Joker. That was fucking stupid. I will agree with you 100% on that. That wasn't his fault, though, because he brought up a good point. He said, they cut out most of my scenes, dude. That, he's actually He, didn't, he, he even like fucking looks stupid. He didn't look, sound, or act like the Joker in any way. Nobody ever wanted the Joker to look like that. And the fucking tattoo teeth thing? Come on. That was cool. It was stupid. It's it was different. Stupid. We can't just do this Heath Ledger shit for the rest of our lives, dude. He, he let it go, man. Uh, no, yeah, actually, we can. You can do fucking the Joker in any format to where he still looks like the Joker. Whenever you bring out a Joker that looks like he just got out of fucking prison. But he technically and, did. He comes out of prison all the time, doesn't he? he's about to OD at the same time because he looks like he's high as fuck. He's a lunatic. He doesn't. He didn't resemble anything about the Joker. It was a different take. There's never been a take even in the comics that looked like that shit. It was original. I'm, I'm dropping this order. Because it's a fucking other one to that base. Original or not, it failed. I mean, that might be why that kind of Joker never appeared in the comics. It was going to obviously fail. If maybe, I see that Hughes maybe, fucking avenue. Maybe I'm not as avid of, of a Riddler fan as you are, but the Joker is my territory. Shadow does know some Joker stuff. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I'd say he knows more about the Joker than you ever will. That's funny. You know, all he wants to know about the Joker, but why can't a director put his own vision on, on something? Put his own fresh spin on something? Y'all aren't directing it. Can we literally say that it obviously didn't flail? What? It didn't flail. It obviously flailed. Can you honestly say it didn't? Do you not know what the word flail means? No. Picture a fish flopping around on the ground okay. trying to catch air, but there's none there. Well, everybody. That so wasn't his fault, though, dude. They had some great scenes that just cut out because the stupid-ass fucking uh, studio stepped in and, and cut all his scenes. Jared Leto was pissed about all this, dude. He it's he, he still even looks stupid. Ridiculous. That's your opinion. I think it's he, most everybody's opinion. He looked cool. He didn't. Did he have since, green hair? Did he have when white does, skin? Since when does the Joker spin around like a fucking <clears throat> idiot in sports cars? That's not the Joker. None of what he did was any form of Joker. Shadow, I'll say this. I will Greg, say this. They cut his scenes out so they weren't allowed. To I will say this. If they would have made him look. How he looked at the end of uh, 
fucking uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, I would have been more okay with it. But that short fucking hair slicked back like he looked like he was in the mafia but got rejected because he's a fucking dipshit. You obviously didn't see the animated series in the 90s. He looked just like I that. I did see the anime. I grew up with like that shit. He, had, he didn't have his hair short and slicked back? Not that damn short. Not like that. It wasn't like that. Yeah, it was more like Vince McMahon's from the 90s, huh? How it was kind of like the... And yeah. even the animated even the animated Joker had more class. And it also poked out. It was slicked back, but it poked out. It had a curve <laughs> like this off the back of his fucking head. Okay. Exactly. And even the even the animated Joker had more class. The cane, the fancy ass fucking square toe shoes, cane. the black, the purple. He had suit. gator skin shoes. The Joker you liked looked like CM Punk. <laughs> yeah, because CM Punk always wears gator skin and alligator skin coats, right? Purple Nobody coat. has that slicked back fucking hair and a bunch of tattoos. It's like we'd be stuck with the same shit from the eighties if it was up to you guys. What was wrong with the eighties? I mean, it's cool with any competent looking Joker. It's it's all that's cool. I'm not disagreeing. We're ending this dash. So until next time. Hold on. Let's finish this. No, until next time. Slack off, man. Fuck, man. This is some bullshit because.